Hey y'all, don't touch that mouse or that screen phone. You're watching Spread Those Mouse. Welcome back, guys. Little bit of a different look uh, today. <coughs> we'll call this the. Uh, we're fucking lazy, and there's only two of us because it's the holidays and it's tough to get guests. And I'm sick. So we went back to the uh, old school bar design look here. Uh, I am the Buffalo Wing Butte. This is the Dry Rub Daddy, uh, and these are Bada Bing Wings. Bada Bing, a little bit of a nightclub -y vibe. Um, they have a cool bouncer at the door. He's really nice. Um, I can show you. They have a nice little design package. They didn't really um, label what's what, but what I did appreciate this week, we were able to get four flavors and 20 wings. Yeah, it's awesome. A um, little pricey. It is two oh five per wing. Yikes. But uh, this is a place where I think it came about a little while back we saw a graphic... Um, and had wings of buffalo, and this was actually out there. And never did we think like, oh, nightclub, we should go get these wings. I've never been there besides today, so. <laughs> Me neither. I was not a Chippewa rat. I'm not, I'm not a nightclub-y person. No. But, uh, so we have Bada Bing. That was the problem. I do like their logo, though. It's mafia-esque. I think, they, I, think we, I accidentally ordered mild instead of medium. Oh, well. Uh, we have mild. We've got sweet chili. Italian and hot. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be the mild. I'll grab the only uh, flat in there. Oh, wow. That's correct. I'm going to try to taste what I can. I can't smell. Another episode? Mm. Not bad. Perfect, the actual order mild. I've had worse. Yeah. It's actually a flavorful mild. But it's not just all butter. It's going to totally change the way I grade. Because I hate milds. So I, Unless I absolutely have to have like, one. The blue cheese is homemade or their sauce, and it doesn't look great, but it's not bad. The sacrilege for the OG Jolie and a drum. To be fair, it's the only way there. Yeah. We've got some grizzly meat. Start us off. Um, so these wings weren't flaccid, no. but they weren't crispy. It was kind of like a phenomenon. I've never really dealt with that. There wasn't a crunch, but well, there was a crunch, but there was no crisp. If that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna go six on the crisp. I'm not meat. I'll go eight. Both of mine were pretty good sized wings. I'm not a sauce. Listen. I adherently fucked up. I got some mild. I will still give it an eight and a half on sauce. That's a lot of sauce for mild. That's a saucier mild than I've ever really had. Flavor, it's a, it's an eight. That's definitely, it's an eight five. I will agree with Gary. It's an above average mild. It had a little bit more heat than a normal mild would. Um, it wasn't just butter. Um, price is a six. Like, I'm not paying for that at $2 wing. I get it. They have the ability to mark it up. They're a fucking nightclub. Right. Some drunk is going to be like, $2 a wing is a steal. Um, yeah. 76 for me. Um, I definitely enjoy these. For like a mild wing, I never wear a mild, but like, if somebody was like, I'm ordering 10 mild or 20 mild wings, I'm not going to eat them all. Do you want to nibble on a few? Yeah, definitely good. Um, Chris went with a 7. I think the two drums I had were acceptable. And we did drive a little bit from downtown from our location, so not too bad. 
Um, Slow roll because nobody knows how to drive. We get a lot of lights. Um, me, I'll go with a 7.5. Two decently sized drum wings. There were no flats in there other than the Carly had, so I couldn't tell you. Um, I'll go with an 8 on the sauce. I think the amount of sauce in there was nice. Um, left some residue. residue for me to lick off my fingers. How Captain, dare you? Captain Cajun will be having an end here. <laughs> I know you people don't think that. And then, flavor, I'm going to go with an 8.5 for a mild. I got, it was just very nice on my taste buds. It wasn't just butter. I got whatever hot sauce they were using, and it was just, it made my mouth water. So it, it was a nice little flavor there. And then I'm going to go with 6 on the price because they're marking their wings up because it's a nightclub. It is what it is. It ends up being a 74. Well, it's by far not the worst I, I mean, medium because it was a mild. Mm -hmm. Uh, who is that? Uh, so we got an Italian. I feel like you can't not go... We got a, a Tommy DeVito. A Tommy, Tommy Cutlets. I feel like you can't go to an Italian restaurant and not get an Italian wing. They definitely smell very garlicky. I'm going to do one without blue cheese and one with. Shame. Hmm. That's what the first beat. With how my nose was stuffy in the car, the only thing I could smell in the car was the wings. Or was the garlic. Do they call it Italian or what do they call mm -hmm. it? Okay. Straight up Italian. Wow. Wow. That bite of your stuff there was very juicy and very flavorful. And there is cheese on it, by the way. So we're not advertising as like, a, this is a garlic bar wing. I didn't need the blue cheese for it. I didn't either. Why well, haven't tried it yet, but alone without the blue cheese, it's pretty good. I'm kind of shocked by that. That's uh, something different. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's like a dry rub garlic. Yes, but what the thing is, I guess when I would take a take a finger of. I just mean the style, because it is like saucy, but like most garlic wings are like soaked in garlic. This is just this bottom of the barrel Italian shit is really good. I'm sure I'm going to eat today because I can't breathe, so it's taking me slower. I would bathe in that sauce. That is pretty good. It's what you advertise it as. Yeah. That is, no, to, to quote, the Captain Cajun that is not false events. It's almost like a garlic bread wing. That's, that's like the most accurate description. Yeah, that's almost like, it's almost like you made your garlic and butter seasoning, you're going to base, I wonder if they, maybe that's it. They got their garlic and butter seasoning, they're going to base their garlic bread with, mm -hmm. and they base these wings with it as after like, oh wow. That's good. Maybe? Ooh, do they do that in the baked wing, do you think? Because they're a whole different crisp. I don't know if they bake them. What do you think about them? I like them. Um, crisp I want an 8.5. I think mean, you can't get much more crispy than that for the jive. Um, me, I'll go with a 7.5 with two decently sized drums. Sauce, I'm going to go with an 8.5. Like, the sauce is in the wing and in the meat, but it's very, um, like, it's not so casual. So, yeah. Uh, flavor, I'm going to go with a 9. I enjoy it. It's like eating a garlic bread wing, like we said. And then flavor, price, I just, I got to keep with a 6. It's just tough to ch compete with that price right now. Um, with a 79. Um, I mean, I'm right there with you. I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go 9 on the crisp.
Because, like, from where this mild sat to that was night and day, and that was very crunchy. Like you said, though, the, like the bottom of the barrel. It's yeah. phenomenal. Uh, amount of meat. Both of them were good quality. Both of them were, were big wings. It's like a garlic butter at the bottom. Yes. Uh, the, side, the first one was a little small. The second one was, was outstanding. I'm going to go eight on the amount of meat. Quality slash amount of sauce, I'm going to come with an eight, five. The sauce is everything I want. I just wanted a little more. Uh, flavor, I'm going to go nine, five. Like, if you're ever going to corner me into having to order an Italian-style wing, this is what I hope 10 out of 10 of them are. No, no veggies. And this is really fucking good. Uh, but I'm with Gary. I'm going to go seven on the price. Like, I'd probably pay a little extra for that one. But, like, they're still really, really expensive. I'm going to come with an 84. That's a solid-ass wing. Yeah, it's better than I expected. These ones look grilled. Sweet chili, and they are for sure grilled. Go ahead. I think there's only one. There's two flats. There's oh, okay. It's hiding in there. I am. This is goopy. Ooh. It smells like a, like a hibachi almost. Which is shocking. You don't usually like Asian wings. Mm-hmm. I've been eating more Asian food though lately, so it's kind of opening my palate a little bit. It's almost like a general sour sauce. Definitely doesn't need the blue cheese. No, but I'm still gonna try it. Um, again, maybe it was the grill, but they're pretty, cor- pretty, cr- uh, pretty crispy. No lack of it there. I will go with an eight. Um, I'm out of meat. I'm gonna go seven on this one. Both of mine were a little smaller. Both a little broken up as well. Kind of like shards of bone in those. Um, could have just been the circumstance they got smashed. Bottom of the barrel. Sauce, I'm going to go eight. I had enough of it. I didn't love the texture. It's very, very sticky. Um, Flavor, I'm going to go eight, five. It's a decent standalone flavor. It does not pair well with the blue cheese. I don't... I didn't get, like, a chili kick, but, like, sweet chili, you kind of expect that it was going with an Asian approach. It 100% tasted like an Asian wing. It has a a chili aroma. Yes, um, and I'm gonna go back to a six on the price. I'm definitely not, probably not going for that. It's a seventy-five. They're not bad wings, but like, I'm not like going out of my way for that. I will say that most bars you go to, like to drink out or nightclub, you order the food, and it's like, damn, this is good food. But if I was ordering these wings and I got these kind of wings, I would be creaming my jorts because they're above average for like bar food. For sure. Um, especially if I've been drinking. It's kind of what made us such a fan of right around the corner, um, Thirsty Buffalo. Mm -hmm. We drink there enough, you get the wings, the wings are more than above average. Yeah. Um, crisp, I'm going to go with a 7.5. I had two wings that were passable in the crisp area. The sauce is thick, so it's not incredibly crispy. I won't fault them for that, because it's a thicker, it's almost like a barbecue-ish consistency, just a sticky-ish. Um, consistency. Um, me, I'll go seven five, two, average size. Sauce, I'm gonna go with an eight. I think there's a decent amount of sauce in there, but like Kyle touched upon, it's very awkward texture. Flavor, I will go with an eight. I enjoyed the sweetness. 
It's got a little tiny kick to it, a nice aroma when you when you smell it. And then I'm just sticking with a six on the price just because, like I said, it's just tough to really beat that over two dollars for a wing. You'll be right there with me. Seventy four. Um, I mean, it's definitely not a bad thing given that like none of us thought we were gonna walk into Bada Bing and it'd be like, oh, these wings are are beyond passable. I would eat these type of wings if I was there. I yeah, I would not be upset if I you know ventured to Bada Bing. Not that that's necessarily probably, anything on my bingo card. Probably, probably unlikely. Let's try these hots. Let me get that fat papa right there. Good, because I'm looking at this fat papa right here. I got splashing. Mr. Mark on that one. Mm -hmm. Really big wings, at least. It's got the same. It's flavor. got a little zing to it. It's the same flavor profile as the medium, just a little hotter. So whatever hot sauce is, it's pretty good. I think the biggest wings I've had yet. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. Uh, to me, that's a medium. But, like, it's a nightclub, so you're not going to get hot, hot wings. Um, crisp, seven. Um, for I got a big wing here, so it's kind of flaccid. Uh, meat, I go with an eight. I had a bigger wing this time. And the other ones are about the same size. Yeah. Sauce, seven, five. Decent amount on there. Flavor, six, five. It's just a little bit hotter than the mild. If you're labeling this as a hot wing, I kind of want it hotter. Price keeping it at a six. It's just, it's for me. It's tough to want to pay for wings like that. It's a seventy. 70. Um, before I grade, I think what's what's not lost in all this is we've accepted the fact that like, hey, this is a, this is a nightclub wing. The fact that nothing was below a seventy, right, is telling of it as is. Like, they're above serviceable wings. Right. If you go, maybe ask to crisp them up a little bit more. I don't think even with the drive, the, these these hots were going to be fixed. No. Um, I'm going to start it off with that. It's a 5.5 five for me. Both those flats, and it looks like you had a better luck with the drums, but both flats I had were straight flaccid. Um, amount of meat, I'm going to go with an 8. Size-wise, there were 10s, but the meat was almost rubbery because I, I don't know if it was fully cooked through it. There was no pink, but it's like it could have been better. Um, amount of sauce, the 7.5, like, it's there, I see it, I want more. Flavor, I'll give them an 8, like, it's a hot, it would classify as a hot, it did have a slight linger, I would have liked it a little hotter, I would have liked a little more flavor to it. Like I said, it was more medium-ish. Uh, and I'll meet you back at the 6 on price, like, it could have been so much better off. Um, uh, it's a 70 for me as well, so... You can have that last one. No, I was looking for some uh, wingleberries. It's it's a little upsetting because you knew it seems like they're on the cusp of grasping something better. Yeah. Um, not that they were bad, but they could have been somewhat. Better. They're, they kind of know. They're like, yeah, we're not really a restaurant. We're we'll do takeout, but we're mainly a bar restaurant or a bar. Yeah. Which whatever. Um, I can't fault you for that, but it's definitely like decent food. Like. I can't really complain about it. Yeah, I mean, the, the gripes of being are like, you know, travel, cook your wings a little longer, but I'm sure if there's any people in there ordering food, you're pumping them out pretty quick as well. Um, like, it's in the heart of Buffalo, so, like, you're not really... What we did was a little out of the ordinary. 
like someone in Kenmore is not going to be like, I'm going to go get Bada Bing. Exactly. But I think for bar food, for being downtown in the heart of Buffalo. So it's above yeah, above average. It kicks ass, kind of. Um, Gary? Um, TikiTribeTV.squarespace.com TikiTribeTVPro.squarespace.com Sorry. That's where all of our stuff's at. It's a sick brain kicking in. Yeah, it's a sick brain. Um, check out our boy Kyle over at Chicken Dipping with our awesome ramekins. I don't know if he's doing a holiday thing or not. Uh, I didn't see one this year. But use the code 716 and get your 15% off. Uh, chicken underscore dipping on Instagram. Make sure we can find him. Um, I'll let you do the rest. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Nikki t -t 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 Two Scoops. Hit him up online. Uh, dude's awesome. He's yeah. He might be on his break right now. By the time this airs, probably, or just coming back. I know he's taking time off in January. Um, but, yeah, the guy is just... He's an ice cream... Guy. Ice cream guru, ice cream machine. You can't beat the value. Um, shout out to Jeanette at the Hair Obsessions Buffalo. Hit her up online. Go book with her. Get your hair cut. Shout out to Jack, the master Bates. Uh, let's snow Buffalo and let's grow Buffalo. Uh, snow plowing season hasn't exactly been awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not upset about that. Yeah, uh, I mean, it sucks for him, though. Yeah, business-wise. But uh, been a good time anyhow. Uh, I think that'll about do it. We'll keep it short, sweet, and to the point. Angel, Angel AWS Wingsauce. Angel Wing Sauce. Uh, Tiki nice. Tribe coming out with some new shit. Yeah. We'll be, we'll be doing stuff. I and go we, Bills. We, we always say that, but it's going to it's gonna happen. No, it is. It's That's, that's the one thing I, I'm fully intending on doing once uh, I take the break from my from my daughter is sitting down and revamping the website, getting rid of the shows that are no longer going, uh, and doing that kind of stuff. So, yeah. But that'll do it, guys. Gary, tell us thing I have you keep on spreading those wings. Reese's sponsors. We're going to spread your legs. Peace out, guys. Good music.